Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 14th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now this is uh, going to be a short tutorial I'm just going to talk about one command and that is DD. Now DD is used for uh, conversion. Why did I open my home directory? I have to open the terminal. Now uh, you soon understand what I mean by conversion. Let me first create a text file and I'll use cat for it. And I'll call it test and I'll just type in uh, a sentence like um, this is uh, an ask I text file yeah, that's what it is and I'll save it by pressing control D I'll clear my terminal and I can show you guys uh, the output from my test file and this is an ask I text file that was the only sentence in it now suppose if I want to convert all the characters in this text file from lowercase to uppercase it would be such a pain in the ass if I would have to use a text editor for it what if I just want to do it through the terminal um, I can uh, let me first clear the terminal for you I can use DD for it I'll type in DD and then I'll type in IF which stands for input file I'll use the equal to symbol and then I'll specify the name of my file the one that I uh, wish to convert and in this case it is test so I'll type in test and then I'll have to type in an output file in which the records will be saved so I'll use OF this time did I press O or did I press something else okay and I have to specify a name and I'll just uh, put out here you can basically put anything here you know it's uh, it's going to be a fresh file it's not going to be same as test in uh, test we had just one uppercase character and the rest were lowercase in the file out we'll have all uppercase characters and you'll see and then I'll use a parameter called conv which stands for convert and it'll have the value u case since that's what we want to do we want to convert all lowercase letters into uppercase so u case is the value that we're going to assign con and when I press enter DD tells me that it got some records in and then it copied something 28 bytes of text and it also tells you the rate at which it uh, copied text and it also tells you the time it took which is uh, way less than a second now I'll clear my terminal and I'll first show you the test file you can see that it's intact nothing has happened to it but if I show you the output from my out file then you'll see that it has all uppercase characters now this is uh, you know just one feature of DD it's uh, it's used for a lot of things with DD you can also format uh, floppy drives and disk drives if you want and uh, you know if you have an ISO image of an operating system then you can uh, convert it into you know uh, you can basically extract all the files from it and you can copy those files on a pen drive and then you can install the operating system through a pen drive there, there are a lot of things that you can do with DD but this is just one application and this is probably the uh, application that you'll be using the most and the other thing that you can do with DD is if suppose uh, I wish to convert my ASCII text file to a uh, European text file which is if I want to change the character encoding using DD the way I would do it is I'll type in DD and then IF and I'll uh, put test here and then OF I'll give some other name like uh, uh, test2 maybe and uh, then CONV this time will hold the value EBCDIC because that is the European character encoding format and if I type in sorry press enter then again DD tells me the amount of time it took and the rate at which it transferred and if I well let me clear the terminal first and if I show you guys uh, using file uh, the files in my directory then you can see that out the file that we created using D, uh, DD is an ASCII text file so is test but test2 is not an ASCII text file it's non ISO extended ASCII text with the uh, NEL line terminators which means that it's uh, in the European format and if you would try to view it in the terminal then you would just get non printable characters and you know you won't be able to make anything from the terminal you guys can try it and uh, 
yeah that's pretty much it uh, DD is uh, again as I said it's a command that can be used for a lot of things but you know we just discussed a couple of applications maybe in the coming tutorials I'll uh, speak about it more but uh, for now that's all I wanted to tell you guys so thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel